Michael Burry makes a $1.6 billion bet against the stock market, uh, which has got a lot of people talking. So Michael Burry, famed for predicting the 2008 financial crisis in a big short, has positioned bearish bets against the U.S. stock market. He purchased put options against $739 million in Invesco, QQQ, trust ETF shares, and $886 million in SPDR, S&P ETF shares, signaling a possible market downturn. Burry bets indicate a defensive stance as put options increase in value with declining stock prices. While exact amount risks aren't disclosed due to filing limitations, Burry previous high profile predictions lend attention to his market actions. Despite a history of accurate predictions, such as shorting tech stocks during the dot-com bubble, some bets like his short position on Tesla in 2020 have misfired. Burry's recent options moves against the market could be part of a broader strategy that isn't fully evident from the filings. Tom. Well, Michael Burry, interesting guy. A lot of credibility, subject to the big short. He was in there. Um, prominent figure. And he's known as a contrarian. And a contrarian looks for markets that are out of sequence or that are overcooked. And they play against them, just like you might call him a bear. And so he has a history of this, looking for overcooked things. So it's not really a headline that he's a contrarian. And he, this is a defensive move. So he might have three, four, five billion dollars of total investment. He's putting 1.6 against the market. And what's interesting, this to see he's putting it at the S&P 500 and there's a lot of people including me that think that's a little overcooked because 92 of those stocks are kind of stuck but seven of them remember they were calling them the mm -hmm. magnificent yep. seven What's Tesla the market going? Yep. Yep. Is, is it that the only thing that's been in the S&P 500 was the Tesla bounce up who was number one because it went from like 110 to 220 where it is now is 265 a week ago and that magnificent seven carried it and so he's saying i don't think the magnificent seven can keep doing this quite so long and so i'm going to bet against it so when he bets against it he thinks it's going to air out but he's had a history of defensive postures and he's been right more than he's wrong although he did trip on tesla in 2020 but he didn't lose a huge ton but he had to back out of that position so so, but when Michael Burry says, hey, I'm thinking it might rain tomorrow, it's never a bad idea to buy an umbrella. Let's take a look at what happened to S&P yesterday. That means this is a slight drop. Now, if it's neutral right now, he's making a position like this. When in the market is a 100% free throw shooter, um, no one is. But this guy, if he was a free throw shooter, Tom, he's like a Mark Price. Mm -hmm. If some people don't know who Mark Price is, I, I'll give you a more modern day one. He's like a Steve Nash, Steve was, Nash, ninety two yeah. percent type of guy. He's up to Steph I don't know Curry. the exact numbers, but he, when he's when he's calling shots like this, people listen. Go ahead, Tom. Hey, uh, Rob, can you pop that back up real quick? Pop it, Rob. So, since the Fed added the other quarter point one month ago. Extreme Green, 80. One week ago, 62. Now, 51. So there is a sliding market sentiment coming out with a lot of consumer stats. We'll talk about housing a few things later. But, Pat, there's a lot coming out with that interest rate raise. And you can see over the last month, the index has definitely sliding back. Yeah, let me just add to that. So uh, we've 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 covered Michael Burry in the Big Short here uh, multiple times. Open invite to the podcast, Michael Burry. Yeah. Uh, you're allowed to... Uh, Reveal yourself. Um, you know, I think he founded his, his company. was called, what, Scion Capital. Scion. It became famous. It was Christian Bale that played him with the weird haircut and the sandals. Christian Bale also has an open invitation. There, Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, great plug right there. Yeah, as much credibility as he has, you know, uh, he's not Nostradamus. He is more right than he's wrong. Even more so, what's more telling is, you know, Bury making his prediction. Someone who has, I believe, has even more credibility than Michael Bury is Warren Buffett. And Warren Buffett was... You know, how much cash did he have on reserves during COVID? Like almost $100 billion, something insane. Yeah. He played it right. I mean, he's got a track record beyond anybody. What What was interesting is that he, uh, Berkshire Hathaway, his company actually sold, I think, $8 billion of assets recently in the uh, Q3. So in Q2, they were acquiring assets and Buffett actually was selling off. So... Uh, if you don't believe necessarily Michael Burry's prediction, uh, if you want a little more uh, weight to your argument, Warren Buffett's got some things to say about this. Uh, important note, the S&P is what, up 17% this year. I want to say the Nasdaq's 
uh, close to 30%, something ridiculous. Um, Burry shorted the QQQ. What is that? Then it's sort of a NASDAQ ETF, right? So uh, what goes up must come down. S&P, um, he shorted that as well. The spider. So, the spider ETF. So, um, you know, Fed has been sort of pausing their rates for now. We'll see what they do. We'll see what Jerome Powell does. Inflation's somewhere in the 3% neighborhood when it was 8 9%. I don't know, a year ago. So the economy, inflation, unemployment is, I don't know, navigating near all time lows, uh, three and a half, or I'm sorry, th around 3%. What is it, Tom? Three and a half percent. So there's a lot of information to process here. So it's uh, good stuff to take note of, is I think what it comes down so to. The so the average Joe here, something like this, what do you tell the average Joe, like that this guy's betting against the market? What would some guy that, wants to jump on board with this thing like how what, what, what how would you go about it well i think if we could just learn lessons from the last two major downturns mm -hmm. in, in the market which was 2007 2008 boom by 2010 the market roared back and we went on a what a 10-year bull run until covid mm -hmm. and then covid um we lost what 40 percent, and then six months later we were at all-time highs so ultimately if you play the long game you're gonna be fine so, but for older people, you know, if you're, if you're not in cash or bonds, if you're still stock heavy, or if you have like company stock that you're all in on, be very wary. In today's video, we gonna dive into how to generate wealth from the stock market crash. Creating wealth through the stock market is an attainable goal, provided one approaches it with a well-informed strategy. Here are some fundamental steps to help you get started. Educate yourself. Begin by learning the basics of investing and how the stock market works. Understand key concepts like stocks, bonds, diversification, and risk. Set clear goals. Define your financial objectives, whether they're long-term wealth accumulation, retirement planning. Having clear goals will guide your investment decisions. Research and analysis. Thoroughly research companies before investing in their stocks. Analyze financial statements, industry trends, and market conditions to make informed choices. Diversify. Avoid putting all your funds into a single stock. Diversification reduces risk by spreading your investments across different sectors and industries. Stay informed. Keep up with financial news, market trends, and company updates. This information will help you adjust your strategy when necessary. Risk Management. Only invest what you can afford to lose. Volatility is a part of the stock market, so having a risk management plan is essential. Consider professional help. If navigating the stock market seems daunting, consider seeking advice from financial advisors or professionals. Avoid emotional decisions. Emotions can cloud judgment. Stick to your strategy and avoid making impulsive decisions based on market fluctuations. Remember, generating wealth from the stock market requires careful planning, ongoing education, and a disciplined approach. While there are risks involved with the right strategies, the stock market can serve as a powerful tool to help you achieve your financial goals. If you found this video helpful, make sure you hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more valuable contents. Thanks for watching.